what's up with the infatuation with what goes on with other people in their bedroom? Stuff that has nothing to um, do with you. Why is the world consumed with knowing who's gay and who's not gay? Especially when it comes to man, right? And it's common, right? Because it's often the first attack, the first slander that they want to throw at any man. Whatever their color is, it's the main thing. You know, if a guy do something or say something, somebody don't. The first thing they, and I hate to say this, but it comes a lot from women. Oh, he's gay. That's why he's saying that. He's gay. Right? I'm going to just say that. I'm not trying to start a gender war. But it happens all the time. And the perfect example is Tasha K. Now, I went to watch Tasha K's interview because she's been doing this for a long time. And I expect to be entertained. And even like... My wife, right? She's a Tasha K. She's a person that likes Tasha K. And even she was watching this interview and she was like, it's so boring. All she's talking about is who is gay and who is not gay. And the main people she attacked in this interview was um, Shannon Sharp and Will Smith, amongst others. And what bothered me about it was that, uh, excuse me, my phone is ringing. I'm about to call it back. That's my sister. Um, what bothered me about it was not that she called Shannon Sharp gay or Will Smith gay or anybody gay. What bothered me was that she said that a heterosexual man, a true heterosexual man would not feel a need to defend himself. She said that if you get upset or if you defend yourself, because she said, well, if he's not really gay, why why is he getting upset? And that's the part that bothered me is that you're trying to create a world where you can say and do whatever you want to people and they're not allowed to defend themselves. And that's stupid because nobody likes when you call them something that they say they're not right. If I call you a thief and you come out and say, well, hey, look, I'm not a thief. I haven't stolen from anybody. I haven't scammed anybody or nothing. And you say, yeah, you are a thief. And you keep saying it, and then I get upset. And I say, look, now I'm upset because I told you I'm not a thief. And then you say, well, if you weren't a thief, you wouldn't get upset. And that just makes no sense. Why are men always just, this word is just being thrown at them to the point where it is honestly, I maybe she might have a point. There's no way to even get offended at it anymore because it's to the point where the word don't even mean anything no more. Because you just throw it at, you just throw it at any man, right? Cool. When an individual's sexuality is unjustly called into question or used as an instrument of attack, it can be deeply unsettling and hurtful. This is especially true in a society where labels can carry significant stigma and lead to unwarranted judgments. In the case of a man who is erroneously labeled as gay, he is entirely justified in defending his personal identity and clarifying the truth. It is important to recognize that while there is absolutely nothing wrong with being gay, having one's sexuality inaccurately portrayed and used as a weapon by others, and this can be done by a woman or a man, it is still a form of character assault that often aims to undermine the person's dignity or credibility. Such attacks can be rooted in homophobia or toxic gender stereotypes that equate masculinity with heterosexuality.